your dolly holy sleep as moon don't dare let her tremble Imagine being a religious family of four on the road when you're robbed, kidnapped, and executed by a gang of six led by this woman. She's Natasha Cornett, the devil's daughter. Natasha Cornett was born on January 26, 1979 in Pike County, Kentucky to Roger Burgess, a local policeman to whom her mother, Madonna Wallen, was having an affair with. At a young age, Natasha's mom left her husband and moved to Pikeville, Kentucky. Growing up in a poverty-stricken home was rough on Natasha, especially when she hit her teen. One morning she awoke and found her mother naked in bed where she had overdosed some prescription of medication. Though her mother recovered, this started a downward spiral in the behavior for Natasha. She became anorexic, antisocial, and very rebellious against her mom. On the advice of a doctor, Natasha was admitted to a Charter Ridge Behavioral Health System in Lexington, Kentucky where she was diagnosed with bipolarism. Yet 11 days, she was released, even though she was found to be a danger to herself as well as others. She continued to see a counselor, but the changes in Natasha's attitude continued. She turned to drugs and alcohol and began to hang around with a bad crowd. It was around this time she met a girl named Karen Howe. As the two girls hung out together, they began dabbling in goth culture activities. She dropped out of high school during her freshman year, and when she turned 17, married longtime acquaintance Stephen Cornett. The marriage only lasted six months before Stephen left Natasha and never returned. A few weeks later, Natasha started hanging around with another group of friends. Besides 17-year-old Karen Howell, there was at the time 18-year-old Crystal Sturgill, 19-year-old Edward Mullen, 20-year-old Joseph Reisner, who was dating Karen at the time, and 14-year-old Jason Bryant. Together, the group hung around Natasha's mother's trailer where they would drink, do drugs, and do gotha things like play with the Ouija board, and self-mutilate but despite everything she and the rest longed to leave the time would come around april 4th 1997 after getting into trouble for causing chaos at a motel that the group finally decided that this would be the perfect time to leave gathering up in joseph reisner's car and following natasha's suggestion the group left pikesville kentucky and headed for New Orleans, Louisiana. Two days later, April 6, 1997, at an interstate highway rest area in Greenville, Tennessee, Natasha and the group met Fedora Lily Lee, a Jehovah Witness who, according to sources, had just come from a religious gathering with his wife, Delphina, and their two kids, six-year-old Tabitha, and two-year-old Peter. At the rest stop, they saw the troubled-looking group and tried to proselytize them. Instead, the group had other plans. They kidnapped the family of four, drove them down a deserted road in Baileytown, Tennessee, and shot them execution style. When the family was discovered that same day, Vidar and Delfina were already dead. The children, Tabitha and Peter, were still alive and transported to the hospital 
where Tabitha died the next day. While miraculously, after being shot in the torso and once in the eye, Peter Lillily survived. However, he is blind in the eye he was shot in and suffers permanent neurological damage from the second bullet. Two days later, Natasha and the group were taken into custody after trying to cross the border to Mexico and Arizona, but were turned around for not having the proper papers. It was then where authorities discovered that the van that the group was driving was stolen and the owners were murdered. The six were then arrested and charged with three counts of first degree murder. During her trial and interviews, Natasha claimed that when she encountered the Lily Leeds, she felt something was wrong when Joseph Reisner went back to the car. And when he came back, he pulled the gun on Vidar Lily Lee to where she pleaded for him to not to hurt the family. It was then where she said, acting out of fear, she followed Joe and the kidnapped family in Joe's car, where they went down the deserted road, and despite her pleas, Joe Reisner and Jason Bryant shot the family. But according to authorities and others, it was said that Natasha was the driving force of the entire act. She ordered Joe Reisner to pull the gun, kidnap the family, and ordered both Jason and Joe to execute them and according to interviews from some people who knew Natasha they claimed she was very good at lying and manipulating people into getting her way the case made national headlines where Natasha was nicknamed the daughter of Satan in the end all six took a plea bargain to which they received three life sentences without parole their reasoning to avoid a trial because had it went to trial Edward Mullins Crystal Sturgill Joseph Reisner and Natasha Cornett would have faced the death penalty Natasha Cornett is currently serving her sentence at the Tennessee prison for women in Nashville Dear dog.